Hello and welcome to today's content which will be talking about the vision card and the esper, the worm of blizzard winds, Freezes, I believe. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm so sorry, I am so bad with these type of like names that kind of are complicated, but yeah. Uh, we'll be doing a, I'll be doing an evaluation analysis on it and yeah, without further ado, let's begin. To begin with, with the info and stats. For the HP, we have 338 at max, 4 defense, and 142 magic. As you can see here, the, ma the HP is pretty good. Uh, anything above 300 is going to be always a solid yes from me. 4 defense is actually not that bad at all, considering that it's not like 3 or 2. 4 is starting to get into that tier where it's like, this is actually pretty useful. Um, I will say, if we want to greed a little bit, 5 or 6 would be better, but 4 is not bad at all. Um, magic 142 is actually more on the higher end in general. Most vision cards are magic. Actually, there are better ones, but 142 is not bad considering the more defensive stats you are also getting. So it's overall not bad on stats alone on that. For the bestowed effects on the right side, we have a total for only ice uh, bestowed, by the way. Um, 30% magic, which is overall not bad. It's not 50%, but 30% we can't really complain. It's pretty good still. Um, for the next part, we also have another bestowed on ice only, where you have a total of 10% HP and 10% magic resistance. 10% HP is not too bad, 10% magic resistance also is not too bad. Considering that you can stack up resistances in general, especially for magic in general, this is actually pretty nice to have. For the party effects, we're going to have a total of 35 ice attack, which is amazing. This is great. It's very good offensively. Um, you do get 13 um, crit damage, which I'm not really going to comment too much on because a lot of people argue like, oh, crits are amazing, they're god tier. When just st statistically, like, you don't get as much gains from it, but it's a nice bonus to have at 13. It's not bad at all for as a bonus. The mono um, uh, ice at max vision card benefit is going to be 25% HP, which is amazing. That is just like Solidus, it's very, very solid for mono ice team comps. Specifically, in my opinion, who would be amazing with these vision cards? Number one is going to be um, Sweetheart Valentine, uh, Valentine's Salir. I, it's not really Valentine's, but I forgot that's only for the JP name. But yeah, Sweetheart uh, Salir basically is going to have the best time with this vision card. It's just so good in terms of the benefits that she can gain from it, as well as helping her team out in that. Um, there's a lot of ice users that can actually use it, even in the future, such as like Rosa. Right now, Rosa is very lackluster. We all know she doesn't have full life, yada yada. Doesn't deal enough damage right now, but in the future with her EX, she does have potential. We don't know what it is now, but she is on the list as a contender. We'll have to see. Mediana, obviously, she's very strong, especially with this vision card. It helps her significantly if you use this for the ice attack up, as well as like Trousseau for magic attack up. Mediana will hit bonkers high damage with this even though she already does like high damage because she's kind of like a glass cannon she's still very good with this and lastly gilgamesh many people are gonna be like isn't gilgamesh like physical damage mostly only it's like no he does have frostblade kotetsu also works off his magic stat as well because it's hybrid um he, the magic stat in general will not be bad on, on him at all the hp will also help him significantly um also the magic resistance will also help his resistances in general so it's definitely a solid usage Keep in mind here, these are good for the users and like these units are good as a user for the vision card. Obviously the party effects is amazing for any ice unit, but this is just mostly for the, uh, the units that would be holding the vision card themselves. So let's see it. The good, the bad, the worth. To start off with the good, it gives very good stats overall. Um, it has good HP, it has good magic, and has a little bit of defense. It's just a basically perfect amount. It's not broken and it's not shabby. So it's, pr it's just overall not bad at all. The mono party effects is very focused around a good balance of damage and HP percent for su survivability, which is very nice. 35 elemental attack is very strong, and 25% HP is significant considering that we have EX units that can benefit very well off of them if they have good HP values. The ice bestow is very good for magic users to fight against magic users because you get 30% uh, magic stat as well as getting 10% uh, magic resistance. So in general, that's just it's good against magic users for magic users. Kind of weird to say. The overall stats and benefits for ice are very like well and balanced and beneficial. I just have to emphasize on it because it not only gives you survivability a little bit for the HP, it gives you a fat amount of damage for ice attacks specifically. Um, and also provides the 4 defense. It helps a little bit against physical matchups. It doesn't really have too much mitigation against physical, but 4 defense can go a long way if they started off with a decent amount of defense already. So the bad. 
The vision card itself favors mostly only magic users on the bestowed side. That means you don't really have much usage. Like, you're not going to be slapping this vision card on like Auron or like Lastwell and get benefits out of it. You'll only be getting the party benefits from it. You mostly want to use like Fenrir or something else. So you're going to have to have a magic user technically to use this for your ice team. Um, it has a decent spread of stats and for defense is not too bad. Like I say every time, for defense is not too much. It's not a lot either but it's not too little it's it's a decent amount the vision card unfortunately does not like provide any lux or dex or like any of those stats no extra crit ray or like crit uh evade or anything but it's not it, there's no super fancy stats on the vision card the defense enough is kind of just there for the flavor um the vision card does not have any uh, of like any abilities for further boosts in the usage so we can't be looking forward to that unless they randomly add it in for global but for now it doesn't really have an ability that can be used with it also um due to it being ice units in general that have to use this they're gonna be weak to a lot of the meta units such as like rain and king Mont, and you're gonna have to find a lot more niche usages against the enemies obviously for this vision card if you use it in like pve You'll have like a blast using your ice units. If you use them PvP, just make sure you're not hitting a rain or king mont composition, and you should still like you'll get a good amount of benefits from the card. But I just have to mention that because in terms of like meta slash competitive, there it'll be a little bit harder to find usages for this vision card in that term. And lastly, it still isn't strong enough of a benefit to fight Helena, like Black World Helena, unless you're using it with the Esper as well at the same time. The reason why, the Esper gives you 15 spirit, which is a good amount of spirit for an Esper. It gives you a good amount of ice damage as well. Um, and physical or magic users can use the Esper. The Vision card will not only also heavily benefit you because you got the 15 um, spirit from the Esper, you get 10% of uh, the magic resistance on the Vision card if you're holding it, and you get HP. So overall, if you use those two together, it's actually pretty good against Helena, but without using both of them at the same time, Helena will still find ways to deal significant damage to your team. Now, the worth of the Esper and the Vision card value. I had to give it a 5 out of 5. As much as there are a lot of fire units going around in general, ice is still going to be very strong against magic in general. Just almost all magic because we don't have any like strong fire mages yet. We don't know what's going to happen. But um, for now, I do believe it's very useful. The, the Esper itself is highly effective on like majority of units. It has the ice. It also has magic attack uh, damage up, so like you can use this for the spirit itself. It's it's literally just such a flexible um, esper. It's just really good. Um, the vision card worth it by itself. I do have to give it a four out of five. I might have went lower because just because it's ice, but I wouldn't give it a five out of five either because there's also some key components that it might be missing for a five out of five vision card. And in my opinion, it's very hard to find a five out of five vision card right now. So. The too long didn't read version of the, this verdict of the work 4 out of 5 is that it's highly effective for all ice units in the party in general due to the damage potential and the HP percent but it lacks any real like defensive options against like most physical matchups outside of the 4 defense bestowed stat like physical matchups in general in this there's no slash resistance there's no like big defense 4 defense is not enough unless you're stacking it up pretty high. So the reasons why is that the bestowed also takes up a magic vision card slot. This means that it can take up the slash resistance uh, solidus slot and the agility of Black Rose uh, Helena vision card as well. So that means you will kind of need another magic um, magic vision card holder in the like uh, party, and this can significantly like hurt your like team composition in terms of like efficiency. Um, this is until at least until the last well vision card for physical damage users come out for the agility portion. So you can use both of those at the same time for some massive damage potential. The HP percent up is actually very very useful, especially on the current units that will highly benefit off of it, such as like Arn and Gilgamesh. They already have a lot of high HP, like base HP values. With this along added, they will have bunkers high HP. Like, this will be very good for them. Um, while I did say the HP is very good though, you have to keep in mind that it doesn't actually provide them any... Um, uh, it doesn't provide them like an insane amount of effective value of uh, survivability or effective uh, health values. The reason why is that there's not actually any resistances outside of the HP percent. Like Solidus is solid because it gives you 20% slash resistance and 25% HP to your team if you're like mono light for the HP portion. 
This one only gives you the HP and the damage, which is good, but it's a little on the offensive side in terms of like... If you're gonna get hit by a King Mon or a Rain, this vision card's not gonna be helping you too much surviving against that, because even if you have a lot of HP, without mitigating the actual damage source itself, you'll still be getting hit for a very high amount of damage. So the HP percent is gonna be good in most matchups, but not against like the weaker matchups where they're already taking a lot of damage. Um, stats on the vision card has many benefits, like it has a very good amount of benefits and it's decently spread out. You get for the bestowed effect 4 defense, 30% magic stat, 10% HP, and 10% magic resistance for ice holders, very good for magic users. And for the party you get 25% HP, 35 ice, and 13 crit damage. So this is just a very solid vision card in terms of like what benefits you get out of it in total. And with that, I hope this kind of decides if you want to pull for the card or not. I would recommend pulling it if you have ice unit as much as i put the uh, rating 5 out of 5 for the esper in the unit if you do not use ice units in general i actually do not put a 5 out of 5 there but if you are just pretending that maybe everyone has ice units i put it out of 5 out of 5 if you do not have an ice unit i actually recommend you actually skip this unless you have plans for ice units in the future but yeah without further ado if you liked the video please like and subscribe and yeah until next video peace out